Now, of course, we can talk about specs and numbers all day and say that, oh, well, the iPhone 4S and the iPod 5 have the highest specs. They're obviously going to win. That's, oh, my God, my dog. What is up guys? It is I, the Apple Buyer, here today and I'm back with a new video for you all. And today we're going to be doing a video that I was planning to do yesterday. It was going to be a video render showdown between all of my oldest devices here that uh, support iMovie. I know the 3GS technically can support iMovie, but iMovie requires a front-facing camera, so it won't download, but... So basically, this is going to be all my oldest devices, uh, the iPod 4 right here being the, the oldest and the lowest spec device, and the iPod 5 being the newest and uh, not really the highest spec device, although it is one of them, but it has the newest uh, version of, well, not the newest version of iMovie either, but one of the newest versions of iMovie. Before we start actually doing the whole showdown, I just want to go over each device and what version of iOS it's running, because it's kind of a big mess here. So basically we have, you know, I'm actually going to move this iPod, iPhone 4 here. Okay, so what we have here is an iPod 4 running iOS 6.1.6. .6. It has an A4 CPU clocked in at like 800 megahertz, I believe. 800 megahertz or 1 gigahertz, I forget. And it is single core with uh, 256 megabytes of RAM. So it is the oldest and the most low spec device. It's probably going to be one of the uh, last placers. Then we have the iPhone 4 here running iOS 6.1.2, I believe. We're going to check just to make sure. Yes, 6.1.2. This is a 4. There is no Siri. It has voice control. So there we go for that. Then to the right again, this is another iPhone 4, but this device is running iOS 7.1.2. I will show you guys that it's running 7.1.2. Right here, 7.1.2. Yes, I know it's shattered and I did take off the back, but I actually kind of like that because the, the clear case kind of gives it that protection again so it's pretty cool but yep 7.1.2 and then to the right again we have an iPhone 4s and of course this is probably one of my fastest devices I'm gonna have to say that this device is probably going to be the one to win uh, this device is running 6.1.3 I believe yes and this is a 4s because it has Siri Siri not available so that is a 4s and of course we have the ipod 5 here running 9.3.5 i will show you that oops come on Ooh, fast device okay yep 9.3.5 there and yeah so a5 cpu on both these devices 512 megabytes of ram clocked in at 1.0 gigahertz so overall, these devices do have kind of similar specs. It's just that if you really get down to it, these three devices are all the same generation, and these two devices are all the same generation. Similar specs, but not exactly. Now, of course, we can talk about specs and numbers and all that good stuff all day. And say that these two devices are obviously going to win based off the numbers because these devices are inferior because they have the lower specs. That's not entirely true. I mean, it is to an extent, but when you get down to it, it's really the software and the uh, optimization that's into these devices. So I'm going to give you my take on which devices are going to win and which devices are going to lose. I believe that the iPhone 4S is going to take the cake and whoop everyone. And then it will probably be the iPhone 4 and then probably the iPhone 4 again. So... 4s 6.1.3, 4 6.1.2, 4 7.1.2, 4, and then probably iPod 4 6.1.6, .6, and then iPod 5 9.3.5. And the reason why I say this device is going to get last is just because, if you ask me, iOS 9 pretty much just destroyed this device and slowed it to a crawl. 
and I've used iMovie on this device many times for editing and I can tell you that it is a patience game it takes about an hour I'd say to render like a video like I'm recording right now it's it's horrible but I think this device is gonna lose no matter what maybe I could be wrong I don't know so with that being said Let's start editing, editing this video. I'm going to just time lapse editing all the videos and just have them sitting ready to render the video. Alright, so I'm done editing. That didn't take too long per se. I will say though, the hardest device to edit on due to its lagginess was the iPod 5. It just like lagged around and kind of stuttered throughout the app. The iPod 4 actually was pretty easy to edit on, surprisingly. So, either way, let's get starting to rendering it. Uh, I am a one man army, so give or take a few by the seconds because I'm just going to be pressing each button over down the line. But either way, let's get started to rendering. Wow guys, I found that absolutely stunning. Uh, I guess that the 4S didn't win. I I don't know, it could have been just because of the way I pressed the buttons since I did press them all in the same general amount of time but not the exact amount of time. So I was generally surprised by the 4S taking, or not the 4S, the 4 uh, running iOS 7 taking first place and then the iOS 6 iPhone 4, and then the iPod 4. The iPod 4 actually did a great job. For it being the device with the lowest specs, it, 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 it did a great job. Now, as goes for the iPod 5, I, I expected this thing to take last. I expected it to take the big, fat L, just because iOS 9 did destroy this device and just slowed it down to a crawl. I mean, heck. People always say make fun of the iPhone 4 being for being so slow, but come on, the 4S and this device are even worse if you ask me. So that was that. Uh, the iPhone 4 took first, second, third, fourth. Although, like, even though this may have gotten fourth, if I'm correct, I have to rewatch the time lapse. Even if it did get fourth, these four devices all had like were literally neck and neck. So I mean. These, these four devices did amazing, no matter what. The iPod 5, though, took the big fat L and took about 30 minutes, I'd say. We, I actually pressed lap, so let's see. Thir it took 13 minutes to do the iPhone 4. And then 7 seconds later, the uh, other iPhone 4 came in. Then another second later, the uh, iPod 4 came in. And then, let's see, another... 45 seconds later, looks like. I don't know. Another 45 seconds later, the iPhone 4S came in. And then, let's see. About, oh, I'd say 30-something minutes later, the iPod 5 finally comes in last. So, thanks for watching, guys. This was a lot of fun to record. I, I was highly interested in doing this because I really didn't know which devices. I mean, I had a general idea, but... I didn't know which devices would exactly win, so it was fun doing that. Maybe I'll do a video with the iPhone 4S and see how that goes at some point. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow, and peace.